the physics, the set of physics questions in the round, the last one was why does it hurt less to break a fall slowly than to break a fall suddenly? Infancy Pim School attempted this question. It was answer bell, right? Okay, and he started by saying that the impulse will be less. That statement alone, I should have ignored, ev I should have ignored everything else he said because that statement is incorrect. The impulse will not be less. It will not be less. So although he went ahead to say the right answer, because he had started his answer with this wrong statement, I have to take the points from him. Yeah. So please, it was a speed race question. So we take that. I'm covered. Don't turn over until I ask you to, and don't begin until I ask you to. <laughs> At the end of the second round, Ghana National College has 14 points. Infancy Film School has 29 points. At the Saddle College has 29 points. top of round three. This round has the problem of the day. The problem of the day is a single question to all three schools. From the time I ask you to begin, you have three minutes in which you can compose a response to the problem of the day. The problem of the day is worth 10 points. Please put your pens down and let's turn over our sheets and read the problem of the day together. Problem of the day. A salesperson for a furniture company 
can be paid in one of two ways for the furniture he or she sells. Plan A, a monthly salary of 900 Ghana CDs plus a commission of 10% of sales. Plan B, a monthly salary of 1,200 Ghana CDs plus a commission of 15% of sales in excess of 8,000 Ghana CDs. Assume that the monthly sales always exceeds 8,000 Ghana CDs. For what amount of monthly sales is one income from plan A equal to that of plan B? Please find this monthly income. Then two, income from plan B is better than that of plan A. Contestants, this is your problem of the day. You may now begin. <laughs> From the basement of the RS Amegashi Auditorium, where the first semi final contest between Infant Spin School, Addis Adult College, and Ghana National College is taking place. Um, from this basement here, all the people gathered here watching uh, from the projected screen behind us. You can see the contestants are solving um, the problem um, of the day. By the end of the second round, Infant Spin School has 29 points, Addis Adult College has 29 points, Ghana National College, they have 14 points. Nansiama Fajadozi. At this stage, we are not going to run away from our prediction that Infancy Fame is going to carry the day. Are you having a rethink? I, 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 I am beginning to have a rethink because of something. Let me, let me, let me. So, let so me you, you, you've chickened out. I have not chickened out. We, we, we're dealing with facts and we're dealing with previous performances. Okay. And I have said it before that previously, um, during the 1 8 stage and even with the Finals. At this adult college, we've got schools that they could have, they would have been able to beat. Um, you know, even especially with the um, with the latest one, with the quarterfinals. I mean, San Dimas Senior High School and Saint Louis. They both got 26 points. And if you watch from the very beginning, from us at round two, we're leading the other two, the two schools with about 20 points. So at that point, you'd expect that this adult are going to win about some 70, 60 points. But they only got. 53 or 58, one of them. And so, I mean, their performances were not really up there if you compare it to the other schools. And so I thought that they were not really going to do much today because we've seen yeah. in the Supreme Senior High. But today, I mean, the guys, 
have they've gone to they've gone to fortify themselves, man. So very honest with you, because they said that for them was it a spiritual fortification or something? No, I think that they felt that no, you know, we we, we haven't really had a competition, and so this is good. This is going to be game, and we need to bring our A game on. And I think that the boys came back today. This, 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 big. This, this morning, I had an argument um, from one of the teachers of one of the schools that usually when you have the school slowing down, you know, uh, like bringing the pace down a little bit, the other competing schools are also forced to, you know, uh, uh, move according to the pace. Do you think this time around, at this other college has been forced? Like in Fancy Pimp School, I mean, we've seen their speed and we've seen how accurate they can be um, with their speed. That manifested in the second round during the speed race. You saw how James Pepra was answering, you know, uh, uh, Please see that between Infante Pim and Addis Adel, there's, there's a difference. So Infante Pim is always in a hurry to hit the bell. Okay. Addis Adel is always careful because they know that when they, when they get it wrong, there's going to be a redacted. So you realize that they take their time, make sure they get their answer correctly for the break. But then Infante Pim on the other side is in a hurry. They want to beat their speed rate, they want to get it first. And so they always want to hit the bell and they end up sometimes getting the answers. Um, often wrong. So if you check at it, uh, if you check in fancy pin records from there one eight to this time, normally they get the drop a lot of points in the second round because they're in a hurry to ring the bell and the answer is wrong. But I realize that the Adisco guys are quite they are careful. They don't want to lose a point. And so we'll better get not, not even ring and maintain our point than hitting the bell quickly and getting it wrong. So that's the difference between the two schools. But I mean I'm sure that when I decided after that two um, other performances, um one eight and quarter final, the one they went back I'm sure their, their teachers told them that, you know what, you are not meeting a small school, you are meeting in fancy pep. And this is, this is a school that have been getting 62 points, 63 points, you know, and so you cannot bring that same... Pimp school in their first contest, they had um, 62, 62 points. And um, they came up against Borga girls, they had three points in all the five rounds. Tom Senior High just managed 18 points during, um, that is the 1-8th, you know, stage of the competition. Um, at the quarterfinals in Fancy Pimp School, they had 50 points. In fact, they really, really, should I say, slotted. <laughs> Prosec Legon, Prosec Legon had 34 points, 16 point, you know, gap. So we've seen the boys, like, really perform in Fancy Pimp School, but today, at this other college, they are, you know, they're really giving in Fancy Pimp School a good run for their money. Maybe, maybe we can also say that maybe in Fancy Pimp in the quarterfinals, they didn't really get schools that were matching them boots for boots, man. So, I mean, Prosec Legon. Prosec, no, Prosec has the name, but I mean, five time winners, unprecedented. You know, these are the five time winners, but when we look at the performance on the ground. I always tell people that look at after the after round two, after round three, how have they performed? This is Presec. After round two, how many points what was the difference between Infante Pem and Presec? There was no competition. Okay. You, you get it. And so that is schools that were able to match them boot for boot. That would be the reason. But I mean at this other college is matching them and it's it's amazing that after round two you're getting 29, 29. 29. And even round one, 24, 23, just one point difference. I think this is the, this is what we've all been looking forward to. I mean, this is competition, not 25-9. We, we, we have three more rounds to go. Remember that in the final round, that's round five of the competition. If you are able to answer a reader correctly um, at the first clue, when you're giving the first clue, you're able to answer that, that's five. that's five points. So at this point, really, we're going to tell who's winning um, this particular contest in front of him and at this other college. They have proven uh, and in fact they've confirmed what pandits predicted ahead of this particular contest it's it's, it's a close contest between the two schools. it's really difficult at this point you know to predict but earlier we said it was going to be in front of schools day based but you think on based, based on, on previous them. on their previous performance right but, but this time around nancy is being adult. more careful i'm being careful because i decided all the they need to see if there will be perfect scores. Okay. Um, we wait to see what the problem of the day um, would be like. You know, ten marks for problem of the day. Let's 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 try and get some of the old students. Let's talk to them. Let's find out from them at this point what what is going through their minds. Uh, I'm sure a lot of them have butterflies in their stomach. Really, maybe you don't have butterflies. You have ants in your stomach. Uh, it's, it's not an easy contest. I mean, we, we, we expected this battle. It is at this saddle in France, man. Even beyond 
um, the performance, our historical performance. It is a rivalry that has been renewed. And so you should expect that both schools will come at each other. And I was telling people that the, this will be lost and won in round two. And as at round two, we have... We are, 29, 29. So, so, so it's anybody's game from a neutral perspective. But I'm hopeful that the fans will carry the day. You, you are four off in fans of school. Yeah. Tell me, usually when you go for inter-school competition, that's where the rivalry usually would start. What, what, what really is in front of this other? Is it is that feel we are spirit? I think about 30 something years later in 1910, Adisado College also came into being. And from that time, there has been that rivalry with um, examination results, inter uh, uh, quiz competition and all of that. So it's basically a situation of, you know, education really started in Cape Coast. And these were the two leading schools. So it started from there and it has not stopped up to now. So even if it is golf, even if it is golf, even if it is old students, um, JAMA, whatever, once it is in fans film and this other, it is rivalry and nothing else. What, what, will this, what will this mean to you? Um, should you win this competition? What other victory in this contest mean to you? Is it going to uh, solidify your claim that you are superior to a disorder college. What really does it mean to win this particular college? First of all, I don't know with see a quiz competition as a measure of the school's greatness. The first one is far, far beyond that. There are other very... Are beyond? Yes. There okay. are other, if you win the quiz, it is good. But there are other more tangible variables for which you should measure the greatness. Maybe you want to point out those variables you're talking about. The first one gives holistic education. And so we must look at, first of all, the impact of the school on other schools. There's no single region in Ghana that the first has not produced the school there. When you go to Western region, there's Keta Secondary School, which came out of uh, Western region, there's Fijai Secondary School. Even at Shimota, Premier College, all of them owe some allegiance to Fansman. When you talk about old students, you know, the human resource that Fansman has produced, the, the history of this country is tied to Fansman. I want to put our the national size of mass grade is not a very correct metric or holistic metric for measuring the worth of our school. Beyond that, when we win, it is good for the bragging rights. It is good for us to yeah, stamp it, that you, you, to stamp you, it our authority. It's going to be a feather yes. you kept. Yes. But uh, um, f finally, before you go, prior to this contest, you confidently stated that you're going to start a college. Yes. Yes. Are you sticking to that? Yes, I'm sticking to that. We, th this contest is going to go into its embers. It is going to go to the wire, and the first one will come out victorious. Honestly, a big thank you to you, uh, Moba, an old boy of Infant Spam School. Now, let me have to also join me here with. Um, uh, with someone from Adesado College, an old boy of Adesado College, Benjamin Teta, you will be the neutral person here. So <laughs> let's listen to him. Uh, what's your name? Eric. Eric? Yeah. Adesado College, which year? No, National. Oh, Ghana National College, which year? 2017. Come again. 2017. 2017. Um, are you going to throw in the towel? It's, it's, it's a fight between Infant Supreme and Adesado. Do you think you guys are going to stage a comeback? Yeah. Sure, I'm sure because we're already expecting that. I thought maybe at least we could have gone forward, but how I'm saying things, I'm sure still we have the beam. So, oh, you still have them, yeah, 29 29. I still consider round three is the um, problem of the beam, so yes, we can we can do it. Yeah, you can try to close the gap. We've had the infant spin ball. We've had all the talk that I mean they are the best, they are the primus in Paris. We've had all those claims. What makes Ghana National College different? Um, is it what really is your trump card? As in your trump card. What what really is the strength that you bring you you come into this competition with? Well like you see, we know the schools we all know what we need. And I was having more game than the where I decided and the Butcher guys. But at least I knew if Nashawn could have qualified for at least the other guys would drop that so would be in the middle of Butcher and Nashawn. Oh, so at least you want to be in the middle. You don't want to be the last. 
Charlie. <laughs> Abba, Abba. <laughs> Thanks so much, bro, for talking to us. Thanks so much. Now, we will have somebody from Addis Ababa join us um, shortly. Um, but let me talk to Benjamin Tete, my colleague here. Benjamin, we are the best men of the RSF studio. We're looking from the projector. It's really hot here, but that is not deterring the people seated here. Um, seeing you at the contest. Yeah, um, obviously, um, the, you can see the, the, the result is reflecting in terms of the outpour of uh, support that this Adel versus the fans team and the competition is on. A straight race. With you, you, I mean, you. It's going to be the other day. I said, say, Nancy has a real face. Are you still sticking your neck out for him school? I was just reading a message. It's been so unfair at this adult play. And so even when they were by a single point, he was still hoping that they were going to come up. And I think problem after the problem of the If a school can pick and the other one loses a bit, then there's the, the school that picks the maximum point is going to have the edge. So after this third round, we will see how the game will be shaping. But obviously, it will still remain a close contest. Cautiously, on this one. Um, we, initially, we, we, we made a bold statement that we are predicted in Fan Spim School to, 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 I mean, to win it. But now we have to be, we have to slow down. Look what we've seen from the first and then the second contest with the initial prediction based on their previous you know performances the previous performances you know of the uh, uh, schools now i have some santa claus here with me what's your name I'm the ben man in the zebra shirt i'm benedict Osumafo. what benedict Osumafo. benedict Osumafo. which year did you complete this year 2018 2018 18. this year okay you dennis Kabinetu, foreign 2018 2018 now 29 points in fans school 29 points was this what you expected or you expected your boys to be leading at the end of the round actually uh, you know you know we went to the originals with in fact ghana national and uh, we went to the originals with them uh, so you then, you know, a problem in mathematics so we are told about a sales person who is following or who has the potential to follow two different plans there's plan a which gives a monthly salary of 900 Ghana CDs plus a commission of 10% of sales. And then plan B is a monthly salary of 1,200 Ghana CDs plus a commission of 15% on sales in excess of 8,000 uh, Ghana CDs. Contestants were to assume that the monthly sales will always exceed 8,000 Ghana CDs and they were to answer two questions. The first one was, to find out the income from plan A, uh, at what point the amount of monthly sales at which the income from plan A is equal to that of plan B, and then they were to find this monthly income. Okay, so this is how to go about it. You can let the monthly sales be X Ghana CDs, where of course X is greater than 8,000. In that case, we can set up an equation for the income from plan A. And this is 900 plus 0.1x. The 0.1 comes from the 10%. So we converted it into a decimal. So 900 plus 0.1x, this is worth one point. Then the income from plan B is going to be 1,200 plus 0.15. That's a... Uh, commission, the 15% commission has been converted to a decimal, 0 0.15, multiplied by X minus 8,000. If you set this up right, that's another point. Now, the question is asking for income from plan A to be equal to income from plan B. So you set those two equations to be equal. So you have 900, 900 plus 0.1X, is equal to 1,200 plus 0 0.15 multiplied by the expression x minus 8,000. One point for this. Then you continue, you expand. We are going to expand and eventually solve for x. So we have 1,200 minus 1,200 plus 0 0.15x 
is equal to the other side of the equation, which is 900 plus 0.1x. And this is equal to, when we simplify, we'll get um, 900 plus 0.1x is equal to 0.15x. So 900 is equal to 0.05x, and so 5x is equal to 90,000, and so x is 18,000. One point. So the required monthly sales is 18,000 Ghana CDs. One point. So for concluding on that, one point, just for concluding. Then the monthly income. You are also supposed to calculate the monthly income of the salesperson if they make this kind of money for the company. So the monthly income, you just substitute the value you have into either one of the equations. If we substitute into the first one, we'll have 900 plus 0.1 multiplied by 18,000, and this is 900 plus 1,800, and this amounts to uh, 2,700 Ghana CDs. One point. All right. The second question contestants were to answer was to find the income from uh, when the income from plan B is better than that of plan A. So for plan B to be better than plan A, we require the income from plan B to be greater than the income from plan A. So we set up this inequality. 1,200 plus 0 0.15 multiplying the expression x minus 8,000 is greater than 900 plus 0 0.1x. Two points for setting the inequality up. Then we have 0 0.15x is greater than 900 plus 0 0.1x. So we can simplify. We have 0.05x is greater than 900. So 5x is greater than 90,000. And so x has to be greater than 18,000. Now we conclude nicely. We conclude nicely to say that plan B is better than plan A if the monthly sales exceeds 18,000 Ghana CDs. One point. Given a total of 10 points. Now let's see what our contestants were up to. Ghana National, you set up the right equation for the monthly sales under plan A. That was worth one point. Your equation for plan B is not correct. Then you knew to set the two together. That's the easiest part of it because it's even in the question. So you set the two together, whatever it was. I was being generous, so I gave the one point. And then that's the end of it. The rest of it is incorrect. So you have two out of ten. In Fantipim School, similar situation. You got the income from plan A correct, but your calculation of the income from plan B is incorrect. And then you set the two together, so uh, since I'm being generous, I'm giving you the one point. Mm? That's the end of it. The rest is not meaningful. So you also have two out of ten. At the Sadal College, the first part, you got everything that was expected, except that you didn't calculate for the monthly income of the salesperson. I don't know whether you forgot. So for that part, it was worth six points. You have five out of the six. Then the second part. Then the second part. You had everything as was expected. with nine out of ten. <laughs> That's the end of the problem of the day and the end of round three. Please pick up your notepad.
four. In this round, I'm going to be presenting you with statements. When you receive a statement, please consider the statement carefully and let me know whether it's true or false. If you are right, two points. If you are incorrect, you lose a precious point. You may choose not to respond, in which case that statement becomes available to the two other schools. A school may ring and attempt an answer. If right, two full points. If incorrect, there's that penalty, one point. Best wishes to all three schools. I'm starting with you in front of him school this time. Your statement. In a parallelogram, a diagonal is an axis of symmetry. Yes, also up here. Yes. In a rectangle, a diagonal is an axis of symmetry. Yes, Nathan David. Yes. Please, I, I can barely hear them. I can barely hear them.